All right, Mr. Yates. Defense, my understanding is there's still an evaluation that's pending? Yes, Your Honor. I thought Mr. Yates might be better today, and I approached him and placed a file you know, and was basically trying to get him to look at it. And he's really not interested in looking at it, so I don't know whether he's confident or not. It sounded like I can't really tell. All right, so Ms. Ferguson, do we have a setting for when his competency? Just one second. It was filed in November, early November, as soon as I went to go for the re-examination. Ah, okay. You can course from the back on that day. I spoke to him briefly, and I didn't think he was confident at that time, but I, I can't tell him at all. Right all right, so what we'll do then is we'll put it for... So February 1st, and we'll see where we're at. I don't know how long the charges are pretty serious, so I don't know how to proceed without his input. All right, we're gonna, uh, Mr. Yates, do you have any questions? Okay, all right, so this is what's gonna end up happening. We'll have the competency done. If they determine that he is competent and if he still does not wanna communicate with you, then you will be going to jury trial with a client who's not communicating with you. So that's the way we'll do it. All right, Ms. Ferguson on Yates, we're bringing him back on February 1st. Yes, sir. All right, Deputy uh, Laura, Deputy Mejia, you can take Mr. Yates away. I say it's Gara. Thank you. And this is a plea. And there's no application. Court is calling 2023 CR 8177. You're on this side. State of Texas versus I say it's Gara. Can I have? The parties announced for the record for the state. Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Defense. I represent Mr. Guerra, Eric DeWall. All right. And are you Mr. Guerra? Yes, ma'am. How do you pronounce your first name again? Isaias. Isaias. All right. I'm mispronouncing. I'm going to blame it on the deputies for telling me. I'm not the only one. All right. Counsel, have you received all the discovery? Did you review it with your client? I have. Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Guerra, I'm showing you what's entitled a true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do, ma'am. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Well, we are, Your Honor, but with, uh, it's a 1244 yeah. punishment, Judge. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle? That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow the plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? He has, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? In my opinion, he does, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Guerra, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Satisfied with the way you've been represented? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. I need a yes or no. All right. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, sir. 
court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at 20 days in the Bear County Jail under 1244. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? It is, ma'am. State, is that the plea? It is, yes, ma'am. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. I'm sorry, everyone, just one moment. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal, the only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, are there any such motions? No, Your Honor. Then to the offense is charged. How do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Contest. State any evidence? Your Honor, I offer State's Exhibit 1 in the attachments. Your Honor, we've had an opportunity to go over that in its entirety. No objections to its evidence. All right. And State, you continue to confirm. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Gare, I'm showing you what's entitled Wavering Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right courts, but most importantly, there'll be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and the court will review the same. All right, after viewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. And the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Please, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, we started off by my client. Uh, he, had, he had missed his court date and, and you allowed me to, to approach. He's been uh, very adamant about uh, meeting all meetings with me and coming in front of you today. And we've discussed this case with the state and believe that the, the outcome is reasonable. And we hope you find the same. All right. Then the court will follow your agreement, find you guilty, sentence you to 20 days in the Bear County Jail under 1244, give you credit for any time served. The court will show that the judgment is satisfied. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. And I did say the judgment is satisfied. I'm assuming it is. Is that correct? Yes, 23 actual days in, Your Honor. Thank you very much. All right. So we're off the record. I read the police report. There are other things going on in the police report. If you have a drug or alcohol problem, you better do something to solve it. Because otherwise, the last time you use could be the last time you use. Do you have children? Yes, ma'am. I don't think you want anybody to have to identify somebody who's found on the side of the road or anything, right? Yes, ma'am. And you don't want that to be you. So if you want to be in your children's life, you need to be in it clean and sober. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Sir. Merry Christmas. How was that? All right. You too. Was that, was that face better than mine? Yeah, that was. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. You too. All right, Norma, the people we have left, we need Alberto Acevedo on Robles. Okay. Okay. All right. Everyone whose attorney is not here, you probably want to call your attorney because we are breaking. We're not staying past five o'clock. If they're not here, you have to come back tomorrow. I'm going to send you a text message for a little reading.
Okay. All right, let me see her client. No, I don't have those spells. All right. All right, if they, we'll need to have those files filed by tomorrow because he's really not a fugitive. He's in federal custody. So. All right, thank you. And Norma, we can put it on. She said he's set for trial on February 5th on the federal case. Okay. So let's put it at the end of February. Okay. okay, we'll do the 29th then. Yes. I got, I got your email. I was here this morning. You okay. probably didn't see me. I was, I don't know if Thank conferring you. with my phone. Um, I guess I need to approach the judge because he's asking me to ask for more time before he, he makes a decision. David Barfield or Barfield? Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon. Am I in the right side? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Mr. Barfield, today is your plea deadline date. Are you accepting the state's offer or no? I was asking for He's more asking time. for more time, Your Honor, before we make that decision. I mean, there's about 30 videos that we've need to go through I need some more time to go through those videos to all right Norma on this case if you said it the fourth week in January that will be your final plea deadline date thank you John All right, we'll come back on January 23rd. Thanks, Judge. Once you, you sign the reset form, you're excused. Okay. All right, thank you. Have a seat and I'll get the form. And... He was hit last week and the judge closed the door. I don't think he made the docket, but he showed up. 
Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, on Thursday, we had Joe Serta. He has a DWI, mm -hmm. murder more. He's the one that's going with SADF mm -hmm. um, in Atascosa. Mm -hmm. And so there, we're going to enter into a plea today. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, I don't think you're going to want to weigh the PSI. So I, I'm just curious how, I guess the plan would be that you would just have SADF bring him here for sentencing? No, SADF is unless. This is the case where you all were going to check in. We were trying to figure it out and nobody could give a straight answer. The attorney who worked on Ascosa is still currently like right now working on that, like trying to get somebody to give them an answer. Because I will tell you what the answer normally is, is if they have a case that's pending, they won't send them to SATA. So, so what is the agreement in this case? It's a opposed offer. It's opposed. opposed? Mm -hmm. Right. So if we set this for sentencing, they're not going to send him to SADF and then bring him back. Right. But Sean, is that correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. So and that's statewide. I mean, that's not county by county. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll do the plea today, but they're not going to accept him and they won't even accept him to SADF whether, whether you all enter a plea or not. They still want to accept him because this case is pending. So he has that turn in date over there, but it's not going to be, so he's going to end up doing it, probably try to turn in and they're going to send him out. No, what will end up happening is they're going to take him into custody and he's going to be sitting there and somebody from probation over there is going to say, he's just sitting here because he has an open case. So then somebody needs to work on it. We need to make sure that Atascosa revises their plan, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. So yeah, we'll enter into the plea. Okay. Here. All right. Um, he is, I guess I answered my other question because he had interlocked on his, on his vehicle and we were going to ask a motion to remove it if he went to SADA, but if we're pretty positive he's not going to go to SADA, then... No, they may take him into custody there, but they're just going to keep him waiting at the jail because he has this open case. Well, then we'll have to revise that up. Okay. And then we'll have to end up having... A bench form. Or... Uh, well, a Zoom sentencing if they don't if they do Zoom. If they don't do Zoom, we'll have to bench warn him here for sentencing. Okay. We'll handle that aspect. Okay. Yes. Hey, the dog in